Oh, 400 TV advantage. Nice. If this was me playing on day two of the season, I'd be like, what a fucking joke. But he's got Griff, hasn't he, maybe? Oh, shit. He's got Griff or a wizard, one of the two. Five, six, seven, eight, eleven. If he's got Griff, he's not even... It's not even that bad. At least he can't have Morg. <laughs> Zug. You can't have Zug and a wizard. Good. Alright, Zug and a Napo is pretty good. Happy about that. Ooh, that could have been way worse, couldn't it? He could have <laughs> he could have got a wizard, he could have got could have, thank god he couldn't get Zug and a wizard. That would have been horrible, wouldn't it? Um, I don't know. Morg would be pretty badass, though, wouldn't he? Because strength six would be basically impossible for uh, Chorfs to deal with. Yeah, 42, yeah. No, he's, he's clearly 260, isn't he? As this, as this chap is proof. God, as if he didn't get a wizard. That's amazing. Zook's still a bad—he's a badass, though, isn't he? I mean, but thank God he's not got not got not Zug and a wizard. That's the only thing. I'm not that happy about him having Zug. He's strength five and a mighty blow. He's he's a good player, isn't he? He's like a great ogre. And he's got the ogre as well, so he's got quite quite the strength advantage. Um, well, with two players at least, and only one guard this game. Like, that's the thing, 1400 is shit, isn't it, really, in a way. It's it's shit TV efficiency-wise, because there's 50 points on this guy and 50 points on this guy. There could have just been five guards slash Mighty Blow. Like, these could have been two Mighty Blow guys, or a Mighty Blow piling on guy, and then more guard, and then this team would be, like, outrageously better for it. So it is a bit bloaty, the TV. But, um, you know, it's still obviously better to have it than not. <laughs> When you can get a 400 TV difference. I'm not complaining about having a 400 TV about that. But. It's just not as completely ridiculous as it could possibly be. Yeah, nice game. Good job. I went show hands over block. Eh? Obviously, the bulls aren't gonna uh, aren't gonna try and pick it up. Get the knockdowns with claw. Guess protect against the blitz somewhat. That could be a concern, couldn't it? The blitz, the bots. Oh, 
one of the ways he can win, I guess, is a silly blitz result. One of the very few ways. Well, Zug can go on a rampage. His ogre can go on a rampage. He can potato and get lucky. I can fail to pick up the ball a hundred times. They're pretty much the ways he wins this, aren't they? Blitz is one of the main ones. Nice to show you. But I mean, it's a 400 TV behind, isn't it? So, <laughs> like, obviously, it matters whether you're a beginner or not, but. It's going to struggle, isn't it? TV it's hard to believe now that human catchers are AB8. I can't. Because they look armor 8. They look armor 7. They, they don't look the same armor, do they? So it's just a stupid thing. Not bad. Two seventy five per cent has failed. What about the third one? Yeah, standard. One, two, three, four. But after GFI, I guess just uh, make it safe, eh? Make him safe. Don't get blitzed by uh, Zug, and similar with him. Double three. Bull should be strength five, really. Yeah. Oh God, yeah, the Ulf Werners. Oh my. Oh. The Ulf Werners should be fucking strength three. Like, if 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 Cyanide Ring charged the rules, and they fucking turned up with like that's what they're uh, that's what the people who made the fucking models turned up with, you'd be like, shit, we've got to make Ulf Werners strength three, wouldn't you? Because it just it looks stupid being strength four. I do like the uh, Skaven throwers, the way they look. To be fair, I don't think they've got to have claw to make it look like that. Yeah, I think the fucking bulls would be better if they didn't have horns. And in fact, if they had majestic hats, it would be a million times better. There you go. What can you do? Right, so there's really only one that's threatening, isn't there? And he can get clawed. So... Let's do that. Ha <laughs> ha, brilliant. Another push, just what I was looking for. It's always good if you can to just push people constantly. Never actually hit them up, knock them over, because if you knock them over, you might hurt them. And that's the last thing you want to do in a game of book. If he does that, 
fair play to him. Holy shit. Made a pickup. Absolutely tiny. Yeah, I got two stuns. When I, when I when I saw the armor break, I thought it was a, a fucking blocker, and I was like, "Oh for fuck's sake!" But yeah, obviously, obviously, hobgoblins getting their armor broken is absolutely fine. Well, I mean, the thing is with the vampires, you can say that, like, it's daylight and they're, like, you know, close to death. And that's why they're only 6448. Because, yeah, vampires in Warhammer are, like, even the shittest vampire ever is would just be a fucking god in Blood Bowl. So, um... But it's the same with Chaos now, because now Chaos Warriors aren't even Chaos Warriors anymore, they're Chaos Chosen. Which which is completely outrageous, because if a Chaos Chosen played played Blood Bowl against a team of humans, he'd just kill them all by himself. Without even trying. <laughs> so, a bit stupid. It's all a bit fucking stupid, isn't it? Right. Could... Get the ogre. One, two, three, four. Could get the ogre here. Can't get the ogre then. One, nah, one, two, three, four. Nah, no ogre. Oh my god, no fucking anybody. get a weather dome it's not a it's not a physical dome is it one two three four five six the only thing is he'd be he'd be up for getting punched by uh zug which ain't a great idea is it just gonna have to make a gfi one three four five six gfi i like how he's trying to base the ball as well <laughs> just quietly <laughs> i'm fucking <laughs> <laughs> King Blitz. Yeah, I would be all for the inducements being um, more powerful. Like obviously, I'm I'm benefiting from them here, but um, I can still two D, and I think I think the GFI is good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, obviously, if he stood straight as high, but still, you know, there's other things that are crouching like that, and they're still bigger. It's like, or or not smaller, you know, whatever. It's um, it's ter really terrible. It's so bad, the elves. Holy shit.
didn't kill him. Oh, baby. Last time I played Zug, he just he just killed my dismantled my entire fucking team by himself. But he's protecting him nicely at the moment. Hit and running with his strength five guy. But he's kinda got to, hasn't he, against Claw? Wow, I can't believe he stood him up. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four would have to be GFI, wouldn't it? I'll get the guard in there, which I can't. Shit, he nearly gave up the hit on the on the ogre. I'm gonna set up for the ogre hit. Next turn. This is pretty safe, isn't it? Hmm, not that safe. That's pretty fucking safe, isn't it? Come on. Amazing. Armor 7 gives away a block, gets punished. Who would have fucking believed it? Claws are just a little bit shit though, aren't they? This guard guy's getting blitzed, isn't he? Which does suck a little bit. At least now when he blitzes him from there, he can't push him to there. Get to the river. Quite like that little move there. If he blitzes a bull, then obviously so be it. But at least the guard's alive to um, mess with the ogre. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Damn this sticky keyboard. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I would love to just delete Norse. Yeah, you know, you can't complain about getting stuns, can you, really? Because, you know, they're stuns. Right, so. He's left the ogre exposed, hasn't he? Oh, 
God. I don't want to be based by the... Uh, I don't even base the ball. Yeah, it was stupid. I was thinking I could set up another two dice on him. But, um... It didn't work out. That's not a potato blitz, by the way. You can't just you can't misuse potato. I could re-roll this because I got three rolls for four turns. But then it's it's okay. I don't know. Though. If he uses an extra guy to block, then it's okay. Isn't it? A potato is when is a potato is when you run down the field unprotected without a cage and that was that was nothing like that. He's done exactly what I thought he would do. That's just what I always do. It's the way I play. People say I'm shit because of it, but there you go. I don't think so. Because you don't want to score before turn 8, do you? That's the thing. I mean, I guess against people who are crap, you can. And with a TV advantage, you can. But um, I just get in the, I just get in the uh, you know, routine of playing good players on fumble. Wow, there you go. Gave up the one D, that's what happened. Um, if I'd made that one, I would have slung them. <laughs> Shit. Right, it can get forward now. Because you've got to score on turn 8, haven't you? The objective is not to score. The objective is to score on turn 8. That That's the way I look at it, but... um. I probably shouldn't when you think there's a lot of people who are crap at Blood Bowl playing. Um, and just getting a touchdown is is just going to be better, isn't it? That's, you know, I've thought that before, to be fair, especially, especially in Blood Bowl 2. Like, Inarian style is pretty well suited to Blood Bowl 2. Because just getting a touchdown on the board, there's a lot to be said for it, isn't there? <laughs> no, I didn't say it was you that said it. It was, uh, it was Sam Davies amongst others. Guard here, yeah, so he can go there, can't he? So he, he totally overcommitted over that side, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the world the World Cup camera wasn't great, was it? I remember that. Yeah, it was it was Sam Davies and um, somebody else. Can't remember who the other one was. But but that's it, isn't it? That's the thing is the the way that I have grown up as a coach. <laughs> Obviously not physically <laughs> playing fumble. It's the objective is to score and turn it, not to score a touchdown. But. Because you know, if you score, if you give, if you give Ducky two turns to score, he'll score. Or if you give, you know, Inarian two turns to score, he'll he'll definitely score. Um, 
you know. But if you give Tidu maybe he, two turns, maybe he won't score. You know? Average cold player, give him three turns, he might not score. So, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm playing it wrong. Because now I've only got one square of lateral movement, haven't I, to be able to score? Unfortunately, it'd been better if I'd gone over there last turn so I could have switched back in the middle of this turn. Because now I'm in the middle of turn too soon, so he's not going to overcommit. I find I find people often overcommit and let you switch it back around, rotate it around, lads, lads, boy. God. See if I can block down Zug. It's alright, isn't it? Or blitz down the ogre. Tricky. The guard would like to go in there. And then he can block and then can blitz him and Bob's your uncle. Pretty rough though. Just quietly. Double GFI to blitz him. Nah. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is this he's gotta go after us, but he's also gotta do the blitz. Fuck it. Five, six. Mm. Hey. You could GFI to assist. Would be better, wouldn't it? Because then I get a one D on thingy at the end. It's only a push though. Double GFI, so I'd rather have it. GFI next turn though. Can he assist? Not really.
Yeah, there's actually one for a, a dog a GFI there. Something, I don't know. You give me nine two to the score of Christ, go twice. Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. I'm not going to agree to one day. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it's all about. The bands. He's gonna, he's gonna blitz with the ogre, isn't he? <laughs> it's gonna be a dodge, though, isn't it? Unless I can chain him, I can't really chain him. Block him, blitz him, and then chain him into there. Now you could just block him, then I still got the blitz though. So you could just block and then blitz him. And then he can go one, two, uh, but then the block's got to be a knockdown. One, two, three, four. If this is a push, it's a little bit tricky, isn't it? Oh, I could blitz him and then dodge one, two, three, four, five, six. But lots of blitzing and dodging is pretty, pretty shitty, this team. Hard to get the dice on him. One, two, three, four. So him in there, and then it's a block, then one, two. How am I scoring? He's going one, two, three. So I can't put him there, I've got to put him here. But then how do I blitz there? to blitz him. I guess that's looking like the best thing. It's not that easy. 4-4-3-2. Four, four, yeah, no. I, uh, no. Nah. Blitz him first. But then I've used the blitz. So I've got to block first. got to be here, hasn't it? I don't even know what I'm doing. Just roll some dice at random, fuck it. I'm going to call the blitz for the ball carrier, fuck it. It's easier, innit? Don't need to think, then. I can just do this. Just do a sweet misclick. That was a good idea, wasn't it? I thought it wasn't even a misclick, it was just I thought it was a guy with block. was a good play, wasn't it? Should have just gone for the blitz. <laughs> oh, 
fucking hell. At least he didn't die. This is making me feel like turning off chat and turning off the fucking microphone and just trying, trying harder. Right, we've got to stop and spot now, haven't we? At least I did tons of attrition with my uh, claws and everything. Really bashed the fuck out of him there. If he catches this fucking kickoff in the fucking rain. Good.
Oh, baby. <laughs> Get banged on. <laughs> I got the KO. <laughs> Pretty fun, wasn't it? That pretty fun touchdown. <sighs> oh wow, good KO rolls. Three six players. I'm pretty sure he can't one turn. Um, yeah, the thing is, it wasn't easy to stall, was it? And he he could have rolled some dice, and I thought the chance of him rolling some dice to stop me is lower than the like is higher than the chance of him scoring the one turn. So, I think I've got tackle across the back line, haven't I? Well, can have tackle across the back line. There's no way he goes through without making a tackle roll. And I guess save the strength for Hob from there. Doesn't literally doesn't matter where it is, does it? It's gonna be a Or is it better to have them at the side? I guess it's better to have them at the side. Four hubs on the line. <laughs> yeah, got to run is amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm just booking that. <laughs> it is. I do think it's funny, um, but yeah, obviously it'd be good if you got fixed, wouldn't it? It is funny the dirty player is a ball carrier skill. Like, I literally make more ball carrier fouls than normal fouls. So, if anyone on the team is going to get dirty player, it's definitely best to be a good runner. Okay, don't need Wapo badly hurt. There was a little wobble with that one dice that I made because I thought the other player had guard, but I thought I played okay once I, uh, once I fucking turned off chat and turned off the mic. It is fucking tough, like. It is tough, the streaming aspect makes it. Like, playing Blood Bowl's hard enough, isn't it? And the streaming aspect definitely makes it harder. But again, that was that was part of the idea of like pro sports people practice, don't they? So I thought having to talk stuff through streaming it would be like practicing, wouldn't it? it makes it a bit different than just making the moves in silence. I'm not going to risk anybody getting hurt. So there you go. G fucking G. Try and not take both down. And the guy doesn't have block. It's a, it's a really good pro tip. <laughs> you can't take dirty for him to go to fourth because you're already taking it first. <sighs> oh wow, two dirty play goes, that's awesome. I mean, you could definitely take dirty player on a human catcher. 
I think that's a pretty good. People did that anyway. They just used them as like, you know, because they're only 70k. They just used them as fast foulers. Especially on Fumble because um, there was like a bug in the client that fouling took a square of movement. So it was a bit of a weakness. That's why, that's why a lot of people use skeletons rather than zombies for fouling because, you know, you needed that movement. And, uh, and being movement 8 was pretty good. So, yeah, I guess got to go block. As soon as he's the violent one. Uh, I don't know, though. Because break tackle at least makes him... He often gets one diced, I guess. I guess he gets one diced a lot. And um, it would be good to avoid that. What about this dude? Oh, baby. There's only one choice. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Strength four. Dodge sure hands. He's getting there. Seven more touchdowns. And he'll be the dream blood show hand strength for. That'll be pretty good. <laughs> this fucking team, though. <laughs> Two. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> even the strength, even the strength was a double, wasn't it? So there's like one, two, three doubles out of five on hobgoblins, and two doubles out of four on blockers. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Crazy stuff. <laughs> don't know how I'm getting these shithead rolls. I don't know what the bull's gonna get, just a normal. So it's, um. <laughs> yeah, funny, isn't it? It's funny having 400 TV advantages work out alright. Um. Yeah, like, block he does get one diced a lot, to be fair. But, like, break tackle's really good. I guess I've only got three re-rolls, and it's not so good without dodge. So I guess I should go block. Like, break tackle is nowhere near as good without dodge, is it? That's the thing. Because if you roll a one, not only... <laughs> not only, like, you know... Not only do you roll a one on the dodge, you can then roll a four on the re-roll and then still have a break tackle for another one. So it's... It is really good. Dirty player, break tackle blocked. <laughs> yeah, gotta go dirty player first. Oh man, whole shredder, that's amazing though, isn't it? Strength 4 and dodge, but it's really, really high TV now though. 15.30, I can no longer face starting teams, unless I sack a player. <laughs> Maybe sack the blodge hobgob. Even though he scored a touchdown due to having both block and dodge. I might have to sack him just so I can play starting team. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's not so good having this much bloat, is it? And 10 fan factor. So it's got 100 straight bloat. Claw's not very rowdy, but when they get mighty bloat, it'll be way better, won't it? 15, 1550 is a lot of TV. So yeah, I think... <laughs> gotta be blocked. He's gotta be. Str they gotta be strong and stable, haven't they? That's the thing. They have to be strong and stable. But I can't. I think it's imperative to be able to be matched against the starting team. So I reckon. I reckon maybe sack this guy. And then still have twelve players. But just losing ninety k is is pretty good, isn't it? Because really, what's he gonna do? I've got the other one. Oh, it's good though, isn't it? It is good having a blodge guy. It is really good having the blodge hob. I like my hobs to be blodge, seeing as you know, they get punched. So, right. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.